Hello everyone, welcome to the epilogue for Season 2 of War Tales. Now, what I got up to at the end of last episode and the epilogue is I went around completing a few things. One of the first things I did was to complete every single Roust match in all the regions. So when you complete the Grinmere Roust match located here, it opens up all the Roust fields across all the regions. And I haven't completed any of them in completing the game, so I thought, okay, let's do that as part of the epilogue. And so I went around to Ludern, I completed the Roust match there, I went to Rotrus, and then to Tiltron. And I also went to Tromba and completed their Roust match there as well. Now that Roust match was part of one of the side quests, and counted towards completion of the province or the region as well. And then there's also a Rouse field in Tiltron, sorry, in County of Arthes, as well as in Beleriand. In Beleriand, what I found was, even though it had a tick mark, because there were other side quests, there was still a Beleriand Rouse match that can be completed, so I completed that as well. Now again, that didn't count towards completion of the region itself, as if you've been following my Season 2, we actually got a Steam achievement for completing the Beleriand Archipelago region, before even completing the Rouse match. So that's not necessarily a requirement to complete the region. So that's all done. I was expecting maybe a Steam achievement for completing all the Rouse matches, but nothing pinged. The other thing I got up to was I had actually completed all the regions, and you can see with how the maps opened, except for Dromba, because I was struggling to find out what other side quests I didn't complete. And as I mentioned, there were two that I didn't complete. One was the Rouse match at the field and the other was actually starting a dialogue with one of the scientists at Sophie Ad Elazar laboratory and it would have prompted the legendary creature side quest so completing that and I'm not going to spoil what you have to do but completing that would have triggered or triggered for me completion of the whole region as you can see again the whole map is exposed or I guess revealed the other thing I also did in Drombach is I found out how, how to access the Forgotten Cave and actually receive the Hero Sword. What you actually have to do, there's actually a boulder. You just need to apply or place some explosives and then put a torch to it and explode that boulder. That's it. Again, that doesn't count towards the achievement. Now, the other thing I found out was you could actually, I didn't realize, only towards the uh, end of the episode and the beginning of the epilogue, is you can actually also establish a trade route between Perbost and Stromka in Tiltron. I didn't realize that. And so you'll see as I try to retrieve things from other regions, normally when you try to retrieve them without a trade route, it would say you need to pay 50 crowns. But see, as I try to retrieve them, I don't have to pay anything. So you can do that. I don't know if it actually unlocked earlier in the game when I was exploring Beleriand than I realized. Um, it doesn't I mean, it didn't really mean much to me because I still had a, a healthy balance of crowns, so not a huge difference, but just in case you didn't know. Um, the other thing is we managed to achieve being the first in the Lord of the Seas rankings. So here, if you look at the leaderboard, we are number one. We defeated every single Lord, we climbed the ladder. I think at the end of episode 91, which is the last episode of season 2, we had climbed and defeated Gan. So we were number three. Uh, sorry, no, we were number four. We defeated Ronaldbert. That made us number four. And then in the epilogue, I went and defeated Gan and Yurti. I think that's how you pronounce it. And there are some cool things you get aside from the treasure maps. You also get some legendary uh, equipment, which is great. I don't know if I have, or if I still have the legendary equipment here, if I stored it. Oh, there you go. This is the Lord of the Seas crown that we got from defeating Urti, Urti. Um, not too bad. Intimidation for two rounds uh, for all enemies if every time this unit kills an enemy. So I didn't really get to use this, but this would have been so cool to use um, during the whole playthrough of War Tales. Now obviously in the playthrough of War Tales, if you do region lock, you only really encounter Beleriand towards the end of the game, either the second last region or the last region, the way because of the way the enemies are scaled. But if you do adaptive, you can probably hit Beleriand first after your starting region and get all these cool stuff. So what else? In terms of final position, we have we ended up with seven supervillains. 
So as you can see them here, Ultron, Black Adam, Magneto, Carnage, Thanos, Emma, Frost, and Lex Luthor, with Emma being the captain. We unfortunately lost Galactus in the final episode, as if you followed or if you haven't, please do go ahead and watch it. Um, I made a mistake. I somehow came across an invisible guard or a troop of guards, and I couldn't be bothered to actually fight them, so I decided to retreat and they captured Galactus. The problem with being invisible guards is I went back during an epilogue and couldn't find them anymore, so Galactus was lost. And then I realized Galactus also had a legendary sword. So there goes the legendary sword. All in all, we lost nine supervillains. We lost Green Goblin, Abomination, Juggernaut, General Zod, Lady Deathstrike, Doctor Doom, Loki, Venom, and finally, Galactus. Let's think of their sacrifice as the sacrifice for the greater bad of the supervillains. The other thing I did, and you would have, might have noticed, is I went and purchased five ponies for fun. Um, the reason I did that is I wanted to see how much more additional run duration I could get and speed. So you see here in my bonuses, the, sec the second right column, or the second column from the right, and the third point from the bottom, as well as the second last point from the bottom, run duration increased by 100% and movement speed in the world increased by 30%. So how do we get run duration 100%? It's because of their skill. So here they can get run duration increased by 5%. And then plane runner you also get another 5%. So all in all 10%. Plus I gave them the horseshoe. So 3% movement. So there's 10 of them. So that's 3% movement. 30% uh, plus the 10 from the run duration. That's 100%. So that's pretty cool because that means I can run around the map pretty quickly. In terms of the Compendium, unfortunately I didn't get to unlock everything. Um, I'm still missing these three and I think they're related to just the fact the way I play the game. So I don't use a lot of um, offhand stuff. But most of the things are unlocked. I've unlocked all the brewing recipes, which is awesome. Mainly from stealing uh, from your rival taverns. And with sailing, there's just three more that I didn't unlock. So everything I've pretty much unlocked, um, just this last recipe down here which I suspect is probably from one of the floating debris out at sea and these two I'm just not sure where to get them but it didn't affect my gameplay too much although this one I think what I would recommend is do not complete Belerion until um, you found it the reason is once you complete Belerion the fog of war disappears right so for me I lose track of what I have and haven't discovered or visited and yeah, that makes it really hard to then see where I should go to potentially find the missing or floating debris. Now in terms of the tavern, so how's our tavern? So our tavern, where we ended up, is we have about 34 to 35k in prestige, really really high. Um, we have 300,000 copper coins, I couldn't be bothered to withdraw all of them because even though it's an exchange rate of 100 now, if I go down um, it gets to 20 and to do this let's see I need to click this 3032 times so I'm not doing that but all in all the tavern really runs on its own makes enough money you can I mean if you need like a thousand copper uh, crowns you can just click a few times not a few times maybe about 10 times 20 times to get to a decent amount um, but yeah I didn't really spend time with drawing I could but decided not to in terms of our rival taverns, I just decided to have a bit of fun and reduce one of our rivals to zero prestige, which didn't seem to trigger anything, which is fine. I don't know if you reduce all of them to zero, whether that will give you a hidden achievement. No idea. I haven't looked it up, but who knows. Uh, everything else is there. I looked at the Steam achievement. Apparently there's an achievement you can get if you get a cat, a pig, and a chicken in your tavern. Now I have the cat. I have the pig, uh, the pig right here, but I do not yet have a, uh, a chicken, so I don't know where to get the chicken, but that's fine. So that's where our tavern's at. Now finally, in terms of paths within the game, so if again you followed season 2, we unlocked all these paths and complete all these paths pretty early on before we even hit Beleriand or even adventured into the Beleriand Archipelago. The main focus of season 2 was really the crime and chaos, 
but it took a while for me to get to the region in which I could complete the final quest, which is in Drombark. So in that, well, while we were doing that and waiting to get that region, we pretty much leveled up the rest and we got the rest done as well. So everything's completed. Um, all the points, everything, all the knowledge is unlocked as you can see here. So that was pretty good because in Season 1 we didn't unlock all of them. I think we were missing Mysteries and Wisdom as well as Crime and Chaos. So objective achieved. Now finally, I did say finally in the Companion, but this final final one is to do with our the villain's achievements, Steam achievements. So we completed quite a few. We unlocked about 48 achievements in Season 2. Nine of them I unlocked during the epilogue, and that brings us to about 87% achievement with our Steam achievements. So we pretty much started unlocking achievements in April. That's when we started the gameplay for Season 2. So there's The Great Escape, Survivors, Stockholm Syndrome, Anyone Can Cook, Hot Cuisine, Best Plunk in Town. I mean, a lot of these are related to your tavern, so rebranding, price of fame, scaling up. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, there are some, I guess, that were not related to the tavern, which is great. Let me see which ones were. Um, yeah, Find the Explorer's Treasure, Written in the Stars, Finishing the Crime and Chaos Path, Finishing the Mysteries and Wisdom Path, Completing all points of is interest in children. I'm amazed I didn't do that in Season 1. Uh, build a travel post in Billiron. That's because of the Billiron DLC. And yes, be able to catch 12 different species of fish. Again, we needed a Billiron DLC to be able to finish that. Um, and let's see, what else did not relate to Billiron? Oh, in the game of Rouse, to have every opponent on the ground at once. I didn't realize this was an achievement. I just basically knocked them all to the ground. And I was surprised. It was a good surprise. Um, and then defeat every single, I guess, prob region's team in Rouse. So, Vertrus, Tiltron, Drumbuck, um, Belerion. County of Arthas didn't count somehow. Don't know why. Um, but yes, so that's all the achievements. I don't think I'm going to aim for 100%. We'll see. If we do, that would, could probably be the main focus of Season 3. But we'll see how we go. So that is it for Season 2. And that's where we got to. I really thank you again for all your support. And it, for you taking the time and effort in watching my playthrough and actually joining me in my journey. All in all, objective was for the supervillains to conquer War Tales. And we have. Although with a lot of sacrifices and sweat and blood. Whether we come back with Season 3, we will see, but I'm planning to come back with another review, final review of the base game, mainly because I've already done a review of the Tavern DLC, and hopefully pick up another game and have fun with that game as well. Until then, I'll see you next time. Take care, have a great day. Bye!